Hey y'all, I decided to try a short video uh, doing a real brief comparison between the Hornady and the RCBS uh, auto charge stations. Right off the bat, you'll notice that the Hornady's quite a bit more compact if you actually look at it. So if space is a concern, it is definitely something to consider. We're going to go ahead and try a um, couple tests. These are both right out of the box um, factory settings. We're not going to do any of the tweaks that are out there. Both of them have a plethora of things that you can do to tweak them to make them both work better. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to real quick test um, on a powder that I consider to be difficult uh, for a lot of machines and that's the IMR 4064. Uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll get these filled up, warmed up, and calibrated, and uh, we'll do a quick speed test. For video purposes, I'm going to go ahead and leave these open. Uh, both of the companies recommend that you have those closed while you're dispensing. One thing I did notice fairly quickly upon getting the RCBS out is that as far as calibration and basic functions, very similar to the Hornady. If you're familiar with the Hornady, should be fairly easy to learn the real basics on the RCBS, calibrating, zeroing, punching in your weights, and so on and so forth. Um, that said, um, let's give this a try. I have them both set up at 45 grains. I'm gonna try very hard to hit the dispense button at the exact same time. That did not work out. Okay, as far as the speed test goes, uh, that was a fail. However, I do want to show that the RCBS was exactly correct and unfortunately the thing I've been having a problem with with some powders at normal speed with a Hornady is that it overshoots sometimes by a lot. Um, it is definitely better uh, with the smaller powders, um, the less cylindrical ones. Um, but I've definitely had some troubles with it. Again, these are both, however, set up right from the factory. You can do things to make the Hornady shoot much more accurately, slow it down a little bit. Um, there's all sorts of tricks that people do too, putting straws into the tube, uh, so on and so forth. But this is definitely a problem that I have. Um, I guess not really a problem. A, it's more of a complication. You need to actually work with the machine. Um, again, like I said, you can make it work significantly better than that, but right out of the box, Hornady is going to overshoot most of the time with these types of powders. Uh, whereas RCBS, uh, I'm not sure it was actually quite as quick, um, but it was right on the money, at least on that particular one. Uh, we'll try it again here and see if I can actually get these to run at the same time. All right, take two on the speed test. We'll see what happens. Give it a try. Every time I bump it, the calibration goes off on the Hornady. Alright, we'll give this speed test a, another try and see if I can get this to work this time. Three, two, one. you're going to see once again, although the Hornady actually got where it needed to go a little bit faster, it was over significantly again. Whereas the RCBS, this time spot on. What's happening with the Hornady, and it happens when I'm using it also, is as soon as I hit dispense, it goes off by a, a point 0.1 or so on the zero and then it automatically fixes itself. I don't know if it's from me moving a little bit or what. 
um, but it's something that's an issue with it. It always takes a second for it to get back to that zero before it starts dispensing, and that's even when you do it on the um, auto and you throw it back on there, it'll do the same thing. All right, we're gonna give this another shot. This time we're doing 30 grains on each of them. Uh, both of them again, ready to go. Gonna try to hit that button at the exact same time. Gonna try to be very careful not to bump the Hornady and see if we can get it to actually start right away. I was about a half a second lag on the Hornady. And the Hornady, once again, is over. Uh, the RCBS is still going, but my guess is it's going to end up right on the money. And here we go, Hornady. Show you what it actually shot. So there are some frustrations with the Hornady. Um, it's definitely one of those things where, like I mentioned uh, previously in the video, that if you spend some time tweaking it, um, there's lots of little things you can do to make it so it does shoot quite a bit better than this. It still does shoot over uh, quite frequently with this with this type of powder. Uh, it does a little bit better with the, um, the rounder, smaller stuff. Um, you know, it's something that you see on the internet. A lot of people have the similar problems with. Uh, with the machine, but I also have to mention it's a hundred dollars cheaper than the RCBS. It's a lot cheaper uh, So, you know somebody on a budget that's a significant difference um, Again, I mentioned two earlier size difference as far as the depth goes. There's a quite a big difference between the two um, You know, I don't know if this really helps anybody or not. I'm not the best at doing these types of videos I'm not real well spoken so for that I apologize, but this is something that I really enjoy doing and I've wanted to uh, get a hold of this RCBS for a while now and uh, this was a good opportunity for me to do a little comparison before I send the Hornady uh, on its way to its next owner. So just kind of a recap uh, to close out this poorly done uh, little video. Um, I don't want to say that the Hornady is junk. It's definitely not junk. It functions. It can be actually tweaked to work pretty darn well. Uh, you are going to have some overshots here and there. You're going to need to keep an eye on it. Uh, and if you're real particular, uh, the unit also uh, is willing to be off by a 0.1 or 0.2 uh, and still be within what it considers okay parameters for you to actually load your ammunition. And for most purposes, probably just fine. Uh, not so much for the precision shooter or somebody that's just kind of fussy, uh, such as myself. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the RCBS... I literally just got it out of the box when I started this video, so I can't give you any uh, long-term uh, thoughts on it, but initially, right off the bat, I've noticed that it seems to be pretty darn accurate every single time. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be times where I'm going to find that it overshoots also, um, but I haven't yet, and the few times that I've actually used it uh, in the last half an hour or so, uh, first impressions, really good. Uh, you know, is it worth a hundred dollars more? Uh, you know, I'm going to say for me, probably yes. Uh, but that kind of goes back to, again, I'm a little bit on the fussy side and, um, I really want my loads to be as accurate as possible. Uh, time isn't super important to me when I'm doing this. I'm actually usually doing it to wind down. I enjoy doing it. Uh, so even if the RCBS takes a little bit longer, which I don't actually think it does. I think it's probably at least as fast as the Hornady, if not faster. Once you do all the modifications that everybody recommends on the internet. You know, on contrast, you know, same thing with the Hornady. Once you do the uh, modifications that a lot of people do on them, slow the machine down a little bit. Both of them are adjustable. You can adjust how fast or slow uh, they actually, you know, provide the powder uh, for the loads. You can make them both run just fine. Uh, so in closing, uh, one more thing I want to mention, I did notice when I unloaded both of these, uh, I found the, the tube, um, uh, for dumping the powder out of the machine. I found it a little bit better on the RCBS. It's a little easier to get to. This one seems a little bit more awkward, uh, to get your, your powder, um, tub underneath it or whatnot. Um, both of them obviously left powder in the 
the actual you know tubes themselves and personally i just literally turn it back on and i you know press a number and, and have it dispense it into the actual cup and then throw those into my um, container as well um i guess that's about it folks uh like i said sorry about the crappy video i am not a well-spoken individual um, I do this just because I think that maybe there's a couple of people out there that might like to see this. There's there are, there are a lot of videos uh, that are very similar to this and much better quality than mine. But this is my two cents on the two machines. Um, thanks a lot. I appreciate you watching and uh, happy loading.